There are certain teachings and belief about money that are not true. Major of the story about money in recent time has shown to be untrue. This has been proven by global economic events and financial narrative for centuries now. At the end of this video, we will expose the means that has been holding you back from becoming rich, wealthy, and successful in life, and help you make smarter and more informed decisions on your life. Let's get started. What's up everyone, welcome back to our channel. Here are the top 15 money means debunked and help you start thinking like the well they do. So let's dive right in. Number 1. Wealthy people are crooks and evil. It has been a long-standing notion that all affluent individuals are regarded as wicked, crooks, selfish and evil. Well, that is totally and absolutely false to believe such. Individuals such as doctors, lawyers, and engineers are regarded wealthy in society. Though not among the Forbes 500, the most popular profession for accumulating money is entrepreneurship. You have a business idea and you use it to employ people and make money. You get wealthy if your solution to the problem is what people are looking for and are willing to pay for. It is a common misconception that in order to make money, the wealthy are doping people into handing over their cash. This is completely silly idea. The market determines whose concept is best and if your execution is good. You could alternatively exchange your fund for an individual's work, knowledge and network. Have you imagined who will construct your home for you or are you capable to do it yourself? You need to realize that wealth is built by providing value to others and in turn you are paid for your idea called business. Once you understand this, wealth can be created easily and you cannot become that you detest. You will never be able to develop the wealth mindset if you always choose to be blind and detestful of rich individual. Remember, you cannot become what you hate. Number 2. You get rich by saving your money. This is another false idea that poor people use but fail to implement it in the right context. The fact is, saving money won't make you rich. Saving money enables you to maintain your wealth once you have already achieved it. Now let's say it once more, but in a different way to help it stick. You can keep your current level of wealth by saving money. You are not elevated by it. For most of you, this concept might be a huge wake-up call. The assumption that wealth results through accumulation is one of that majority hold. Although this couldn't be further from the truth. You become wealthy by making money even when you are not working. This is not possible through savings, but rather through investment. An investment is something that produces revenue, that is cash flow, for you continuously without requiring any of your contribution, including time, money, or effort. Your savings in your piggy bank, checking account, etc., are not money for investment. It is actually a depreciating asset, which means that while you keep it beneath the mattress, its value is diminishing. Money changes over time. So, $100,000 three years ago is not the same as $100,000 now because everything has at least a 50% price increase. Number three, the more money you have, the happier you will be. Partially accurate. Happiness now has a relative barrier that varies around the globe, but in the US, it is roughly equal to $100,000 in wage per year. So when impoverished people claim that having money will make them happier, they are correct because the majority of their financial woes are the primary source of their misery. Money can solve financial issues. Comfort can be raised through money. The truth is that while having money can alleviate some financial stress, it doesn't actually make you happy. It just removes some obstacle. It helps you deal with some 
of your life on happiness. You run into new troubles after money is no longer able to fix your concern. Have you had the experience of consuming a particular item at once in large quantity, for instance, chocolate, and suddenly become dissatisfied with the item? As long as you keep eating, you will pass away. It's true, money works the same way. It's really stressful to be actively generating money and moving up the financial ladder. Where you spend all your time putting out fire, solving issues and dealing with problems that keep you up at night. The severity of this issue worsens as you are saying, what is the sweet spot you might be asking at this time? When do you stop looking for ways to make money? Honestly, the answer varies depending on factors including color, locality, upbringing and more. From a rough estimate, 15 to 25 million dollars should be more than enough for you and your family to never worry about money again. Once you reach 25 million dollars, money has no longer a barrier on your happiness index. Keep this in mind as you ascend. Number 4. If you want to get wealthy, you need a big salary. The largest falsehood perpetuated by contemporary culture is the notion that having a high paying job will make you wealthy. Totally nonsense. This is a result of the misconception that success in business equals money. In society, a top lawyer or doctor is respected because common people require their specialized services in times of crisis. They have gained respect from their fellow citizens. Thus, this inflates their perceived value unnaturally. Similarly, to have a bottle of water in the desert is more valuable than one in a store. But what you don't see is that the cost of living and the identity are also rising. For instance, the attorney resides in an expensive apartment in the heart of the city, drives a high-value car, spends excessive amount of money on their ties and clothes, consider country club membership, charity dinner, and so forth. Similar to most occupations, the core cost of being a successful attorney rises proportionately with the practitioner's revenue. As the cliché goes, dress for the job you want, but if you want to be wealthy, you shouldn't be worried about your pay. Most extremely affluent people have no wages at all. Instead, they own the company. They run a top law firm instead of laboring for one. The wealthiest physicians in the world often found pharmaceutical firms or run their own clinic rather than engaging in medical practice. Invest in something that appreciates in value if you want to get wealthy. Number 5. With high risk always comes a higher reward. This is another false notion that business owners take risk. 9 out of 10 enterprises fail for this reason. It is not always necessary for entrepreneurs to take risk. In fact, quite the contrary is true. It is your responsibility as an entrepreneur to reduce risk as much as you can. Evidence of competence reduces risk depending on how well you can swim. Going for a swim can be dangerous or less dangerous. When you take part in a pool, there is always a risk, but it is not shared equally by everyone. We always revert to our degree of preparation in life. Risk is a quality of the unknown that most frequently results from an absence of readiness. By taking significant risks with modest quantities of money, you can become wealthy. By assuming small risk with substantial sum of money, you can maintain your wealth. With this method, you need to be extremely unlucky because high risks involve risking everything else and every time. Even though you might be fortunate the first three or four times, if you keep wagering everything, it only takes one occurrence to wipe everything out. The same thing happens when you cheat on your partner because you believe you won't be discovered and start thinking once you get away with it. Believing you are a brilliant mind, so you keep doing that until you make a mistake, at which point you find yourself in a nasty divorce 
while still seeing your kids on the weekend. High risk nearly never pays off. Number 6. You need to be rich to invest. Very untrue. At all income level, you can invest. A look at your nation's stock market, you will see things like a share of Coca-Cola costs $60, a Disney share costs $100, and Wells FSC costs $38. People often picture factories, housing complex, and emerald mines in the Congo when they think about investment, when in fact, making investment is a habit that increases your wealth. A percentage of your income should be allocated to investment, which will increase over time and lessen any potential suffering in your life. Your sole responsibility is to enhance your revenue and consequently your capacity for investment. The truth is that when you have urgent need, it might be challenging to invest a sizable amount of your money. That needs to be addressed right away. When the automobile is making precise noises, and you are overdue on your rent, investing is difficult. Income against expenses is the underlying issue here. If this describes you, you either don't make enough money or you can't afford to live where you are right now. Occasionally, it's both. Number 7. It takes money to make money. False. It is true that having money makes it simpler to make money. But having money is not a need. Any person in great health has the option to exchange their time for money at any time. The amount of your knowledge and the market's willingness to pay for what you have to give will determine how much money you will receive in exchange for your time. You can charge more for the quality of your service. The better you are at what you do, the more clients you have. And if there are less people in the society offering the same service as you, then more money would you make. Take two barbers that offer the same degree of skill and pricing. The more time you are willing to exchange, the more money you will have. One can serve three clients by working for a total of four hours per day, while the other can serve nine clients per day. In three years, the latter barber with the same specialization and customer rate have earned more money than the first barber will in nine years with the second barber at pacing the first by a wide margin. It didn't cost the second barber money to outpace the other barber, and making this gap didn't raise any additional expense. If they have enough money, any fool can become wealthy. Being able to make money when you don't have any is what has true value. Number 8. More money, more problem. False. Money by itself doesn't cost you any new difficulties that you didn't already have. In reality, it resolves the majority of your previous issues. If we are completely honest, the statement will be more accurate if it says, more money, new problems. Since even though the number of problems you will be dealing with will largely remain the same or be slightly less, the nature of the problem will change and at the extreme, the magnitude of a problem will vary depending on how badly you are hurt and how many problems it brings with it. Trust us, it is difficult to be wealthy. Becoming wealthy comes with varying sets of issues, but you must choose your heart. We truly encourage you to face these new problems now. Accept the difficulties you are currently facing, since someone else would undoubtedly want to replace you because it's part of your growth to financial success. Number 9. Getting money with your tax return is a good thing. Another false notion. Tax season and preparation are here, and it always shocks me to see individuals smiling when they receive a tax refund. Not only does this demonstrate some of you have terrible math skill, but you could have been spending the money you lent the government at no interest instead. Taxes are necessary component of wealth growth, something that is actually rather simple to understand, but you are under no duty to pay more than what is legally required. Consider the folks who complain that they don't understand how tax work, and then think about their net worth. On the other hand, any wealthy person you meet 
will be able to tell you exactly how their finances are done quarterly by quarterly. Take interest in your country's tax law and your legal obligations. Number 10. Retirement is the gift for working hard your entire life. This is another false idea. You can't taste food anymore. What's the sense of retiring? In most situations, your employer has been profiting off your body for over 40 years during your prime years and now you are 65 years old and overweight. You exhausted yourself while sitting up and you can hardly make out distant objects. This is the reward. Go on and enjoy your life. Are these actually the golden years? So here is what you are going to do for you right now. We shall alter your perception of reality and how you approach retirement for all time. You have to be prepared. Retirement is a number, not an age. Once you reach your target number, which might be reached at 40, 30, 50 or 70, you can retire. Age is irrelevant to the number. It is merely a number. How many people do you suppose are even aware that the number exists? How many of them among these? Incredibly few. And it's not 10 or 50 or 100 billion dollars. Do you think? Have you ever taken the effort to calculate what your number is? The amount is two times what your assets income from living expenses. So, what is your living expenses? The speed at which you arrive is entirely up to you. Suppose your standard of living cost is $60,000 per year. This means that on average, $5,000 a month is spent on food, gas, clothing, subscription and other expenses over the course of a year. That indicates that you earn $10,000 per month in passive income. We are not saying it's simple to get to your number, but it's not really as difficult as you think it is. If your style costs $100,000 a year, your number is $20,000 per month. If your lifestyle costs $250,000 a year, you might want to investigate why it costs you that much. But even then, your number is $45,000 per month from passive income sources. There are numerous routes one can take to get there if they put their full attention, energy and drive into it. And anyone who takes their time can genuinely discover how to get there. Number 11. Money does not grow on tree. Figuratively wrong, but technically accurate. If the proper seeds aren't planted, money would just sprout on trees. And come to think of it, money does not indeed grow on trees. If you want to know, ask anyone who is truly invested in agriculture. If you sell the fruit of the tree, what does it give you? There is no need to group everyone together. Just because money does not grow on your tree, trees require appropriate soil and seed. They need care from the sun, water, nourishment and defense against pests and predators. Even if you do everything correctly, it will still take you several years before it bears fruit, occasionally cutting a few branches. You might want to reconsider your reality if you think that growing a tree is easy. If you can see where we are headed with this, sow some seed and just see what happens. Number 12. The best things in life are free, not entirely accurate. People often think about how love is free when they alter this corny proverb. When you are young, staying healthy is free. But when you add the enchanted component of time to any of the instances, the result of the experiment starts to change. Even though a loving family might be free, what if one of them needed medical care that could extend their life and you couldn't afford it? When you no longer love yourself because you perceive yourself as a failure, incapable of supporting your family, it might be difficult to be lovable. Good for you if you can acquire the best things in life for nothing. Enjoy it before life begins to assign a value to it. Number 13. Cash is king. For a very long time, currency was king. But as it started to become obnoxious, people started to flee. Think about that for a moment. Without the authority that people have bestowed upon the throne, what is a king? 
cash has lost all of its value because the central banks and the federal government are creating money like crazy and depriving you of its former value. Just remember that whenever you hear them print more money, they are devaluing your own money more and handing it to themselves. Number 14. Time is money. This statement is largely false. Money is money and time is time. Just because you choose to switch one out for the other occasionally does not imply that they are identical or interchangeable. Wakefulness is worth more than $1 million to you. But people don't act like it, does it? If we offer you $1 million but you couldn't wake up tomorrow, would you accept it? Of course not. Number 15. You cannot take it with you when you die. Even if it may not matter to you, the people you care about do. We dedicate our entire lives to reducing suffering in all of its manifestation. If your life is successful, you might not be able to take it with you, but you can leave it to your grandchildren. Thus, your legacy endures. Imagine how beautiful it would be for your great-grandchildren to run through a forest you planted as they play, or a plot of land that you bought and left to be enjoyed by all future generations. Wouldn't that make you pleased to know that you are a source of happiness, health, and prosperity for others who come after you if there is an afterlife? Our species means of immortality or at least an effort at it is wealth, whether it be material or intellectual. Perspectives on life is provided by simply looking at the pyramids and all the scientific and artistic advances. How about you? There you have it guys, 15 money mints that are holding you down and poor as we have debunked them all. For you to believe that being financially successful and happy in life is possible for all. For individuals who are not only aware of them but also put them to good use. Any of these money beliefs we have listed are valuable and powerful enough to create a wealthy mindset. We recognize that this was a lengthy video. So we do want to take this opportunity to once again congratulate you on your decision. We sincerely hope that today's video was informative and was worthwhile for you to see because this is undoubtedly the most useful video we have ever produced. Thank you for your time with Nance Richwood's channel. If you have seen value in this video, subscribe now to help us reach our target of 1000 subscribers and to ensure you never miss a new video. Keep welding.